What the DOD and the VA are saying is that they just don't have the proof, the scientific evidence, that exposure to benzene and dioxins in burning pits made soldiers sick. In 2009, the DOD issued an official internal environmental regulation that acknowledged, quote, burn pits inherently create health issues and should be terminated as soon as practical in order to protect the life, health, and safety of U.S. CENTCOM and coalition personnel. Um, Tim, I want to go back on the burn pits. This is, this is a really important topic that most Canadian veterans were not tracking at all. You know, uh, the numbers are not, you know, they're not, they're not anything that I like uh, you know, sharing, right? They're, they're, they're rather grim. You know, those, those, what we have seen in the initial numbers is about a third of the, the forces were, were coming down with cancer and you know, most, most of those being terminal. Um, that's, that's crazy. He was a healthy guy when he got back. He was a healthy guy while he was out there. But then you want to say, oh no, if, it's, if it doesn't get, if they don't see symptoms within the first 12 months of them coming back and he doesn't get a diagnosis, forget it, they're screwed because they don't see it as it's service related. The VA's new model is uh, uh, delay, deny, hope you die. And in 2010, the VA circulated an official internal memo telling VA medical examiners to be on the lookout for conditions related to the exposure of these chemicals, particulate matter, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, volatile organic compounds, dioxins, and furans. And then when we were on the, you know, the, the part where we were trying to go to uh, Capitol Hill and talk with people to get them to listen to us, you know, we started with a group, right? That group, by the time we ended, you know, wasn't as big as it was when we started. So ain't this a bitch? Ain't this a bitch? America's heroes who fought in our wars, outside sweating their asses off with oxygen, battling all kinds of ailments, while these motherfuckers sit in the air conditioning, walled off from any of it. They don't have to understand that these are human beings. Do you get it yet? Because a lot of those people went away, right? And, you know, it was a horrible, uh, a horrible experience, you know, to see some of them, you know, die in front of me, right? And it's like, what is going on? How are we allowing this to happen? And what makes it so incredibly demoralizing is that they are holding the veterans to a standard of proof far beyond the one our own government used to send them to war in the first place. We cannot wait for the final proof, the smoking gun that could come in the form of a mushroom cloud. They couldn't wait for the final proof in their effort to protect us all from being exposed to the terrible health effects of a toxic cloud. We went there to find weapons of mass destruction, and when they weren't there, we made our own. We're one step closer to fulfilling that sacred obligation. Bill. We're about to sign in the law. This is the most significant law our nation has ever had passed to help millions of veterans who are exposed to toxic substances during their military services. If you're a United States veteran, make sure you're going to the you know, VA, get your screen, your, your screening done uh, for the PACT Act. Right? You may seem trivial to you and you may say to yourself, I don't need it, I'm fine. But I promise you that you've been exposed uh, and you need to just be in the system in the event that something horrible happens to you.